Uh, I was recently watching one of my favorite old uh, co uh, comic movies uh, called Weekend at Bernie's. And uh, if you haven't seen Weekend at Bernie's, it's a great film where uh, these two guys go to their boss's beach house, but they find their boss dead there. And, and do they tell everyone? No, they don't. And, and crazy antics ensue from there. And I got really upset when I heard that Tyler Perry is doing the sequel for it, Weekend at Bernie Max. <laughs> oh, <God>. uh. <laughs> Uh, I, hate, I hate bad sequels, and uh, I, hate, I hate going to the dentist, too, just because for some reason, every dentist I always get is just the creepiest guy you can imagine. Like, I, I always get like the Christopher Walken of dentists type of figure. And, uh, and, and of course they have the job that they have to be so close to their face and just, just touch it and everything. And, and for some reason, every time a dentist touch, touches anywhere around my face or my mouth, it just, it's just like... Feels like all their fingers are dicks, so just like rubbing all around my face. Like, even when I shake their hands, just like kind of squishy and like, I, like just creeps me out a lot. I, uh, I hated having braces because I always had to go to the orthodontist, and uh, finally I got them off after three years. And my orthodontist uh, was like, all right, congratulations, your braces are off. Now uh, come to the photo room so we can take uh, your after pictures. Oh, okay, that's fine. So he leads me back to this room. This, this quiet door, no one really notices. <laughs> and he sits me on this rectangular, um, I don't know, wooden rectangle. <laughs> That's what you would call it if you saw it. <laughs> and uh, and it, I look around, he has really nice, this closet sized room, he has really nice camera equipment, and I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and so he starts uh, taking my picture and everything like that. That's fine, but um. Eventually starts asking me to do some poses. And that's when things got a little weird. And it ended up, the last pose that I had to do was something along these lines. It's kind of like the crotch shot of all crotch shots. When you're in a pose like this, you really feel like, like an amateur model in someone's basement. Just incredibly uncomfortable. And my mom loved the photos. I, I recently found out that, that my favorite babysitter from kindergarten is now a rap video hoe. From kindergarten, yeah, I know. Which puts a lot of the things she used to teach me uh, into perspective now, like, um, like, a, like how to clap my ass, and uh, what to do when someone makes it rain on you. That was a fun one. <laughs> and uh, oh yeah, how to, how to hold as much champagne as possible while going like, like that. And of course, how to get a rapper semen from the floor with a turkey baster, but that one, that one goes without saying. <laughs> <laughs> so I was watching uh, these uh, animals' most shocking videos the other day, and uh, I saw a shocking video of a polar bear got himself stuck on top of a mountain ledge. And that is shocking. So <laughs> these professionals had to try and get this polar bear off, and the first thing they did was tranquilize polar bear, and then what I assume to be professionals had to make sure that the polar bear was actually tranquilized. And uh, so, quick hypothetical here. If a 10 foot, 1,000 pound beast with razor sharp fangs and claws was sleeping in your backyard, hypothetical, and someone asked you, just go wake it up, but it had like a job interview was late for or something to go wake it up. <laughs> How would you go about doing that? And apparently the scientific answer is to slap the polar bear as hard as you can on the ass. <laughs> hit as hard as you can on the ass, because that's what these people did. And like, what kind of fucked up trial and error is that? <laughs> like, either the polar bear is... The tranquilizer didn't work, or you're dead. <laughs> These people are trying to wake up a polar bear like it's a drunken whore passed out on a frat house floor. It's a polar bear. <laughs> Can't remember my last joke. One sec. There it is. I hang around a lot of groups of girls, and uh, I think it's weird that they're always comparing themselves to each other, right? And, like their appearance, and uh, and like their clothes and stuff. I mean, things like that are fine. But my question is, why are girls always comparing the lengths of their vaginas? Am I right? And don't try to deny, because we all know that it's true that every girl in this room, for some reason, has taken a ruler and, like, actually measured... Actually measured and knows...
for some reason knows the exact length of their vagina, and they try and drop it subtly in conversation every now and then, and listen, we're, guys, we're not impressed by it when you tell us, and we know that you're lying when you say it's a foot long. All right? Thanks, everyone. I'm Ryan. Awesome. Run for everybody!